Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of The Undertaking here on the Aberration map. So, as you guys notice, we have a lot of things right here in the base right now. Um, I managed to get- oh shit, that's a Drake up there. Um, we're gonna have to kill that, but real quick, um, what the, is that a player or is that like a person? That shit is fucking going everywhere. Anyway. So we managed to get a crab off the black market, and it was nice. Um, we got it for those eggs, those Brano eggs that we managed to get on that one raid. We traded that, and then that guy was nice enough, and he threw in an aberrant Megalosaurus. So that was always nice of him. Um, and as you saw in the clip, I was able to tame Mr. Roll Rat right here. So this is going to be great. And then the Alpha was like asking for like... um. X species, I say X species, I always say X species, species Z, because I guess they need to tame up a lot of puppies and stuff like that, so then, you know, I told them, I was like, if I get you like 200, 300, um, would you get me like an Ankylo and a Dodic, and they were like, yeah, sure thing, so we managed to get our farming dinos, so now it's up to farming, and as you can see, our turrets are slanted, like slanted penises, they're all soft, we need to get some gas, um, so we're gonna go kill Trilobite, and if you remember, this guy got stuck, and we managed to tame it. Towards the end, yo, he literally fell through the ground. And I had to jump on the crab, jump down there just to get him. And he was like a 97%. And I was like, bro, are you kidding me? So this is going to be great for like fiber collecting, especially when we need to make C4. This guy is amazing. <clears throat> Look at this. Because there is dire bears. But I don't know if I could get a dire bear up here. Especially since the crab can't pick him up like what kind of bullshit is that man a crab can't pick up a diver all right so i think what we need to do is jump on our megalosaur <clears throat> this is a monster as megalosaur too all right well we need to kill all these bad things around here because if we're gonna be farming we need to get rid of all this crazy shit out here look at this look at this it was so funny because when the alpha came by and they were like dude i haven't seen somebody wear chains since like the legacy days oh there's a megalosaur right here look at this Ooh, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Oh, we should tame that poop beetle. What the fuck is this thing doing? I need to kill this Ravenger. Oh, it looks nice, too. It's probably a low level, though. Yeah. Oh, it was a 135. Fuck, I oh, should have never killed that one. What level is this dung beetle? 85. Shit, that's too high. We got to tame a low level. Like, a level, like, I don't know, 20, 15, even. So we need to secure the perimeter first before we come out here farming. <coughs> Gotta kill all this stuff before we come out here with the angler. Angler. What am I saying? Well, you guys should have checked out the video. Um, I think I might have put a video. If I haven't put it out, you're going to... Level 100 dung beetle? Yeah, that's not going to work out. We need to kill this dung beetle. He's going to get pissed off if we get too close to him. So might as well just kill him now. We also need to secure this plant this plant C because that's gonna be a problem like if we're gonna get raided in the future because you know in the future there's gonna be um server transfer so if somebody's gonna come raid us we should really get rid of that I didn't do this is this up for demolish already oh, I gotta go first person 16 hours okay 16 hours and I could demolish that <coughs> I can't build this way because that shit is getting in the way of me building so it's really annoying. Um, I think that's it for everything bad around here. We should have a lot of metal smelted. I guess what we need to do, what we should do. Yeah, you see we smelted all this metal. Put this on the Ravager. Because I have a plan on how I want to like lay out this base. And I want to do like a 10 by 10. Actually, no, a 7 by 10. That way we could, fill, we could fit two industrial forges in it. And I know like I'm going to go out of my way. And I'm used to building like one by ones and stuff like that. But due to the fact that like people can't really just transfer in here and raid me. And since this is a low server pop. I thought I might as well just get greedy with it and try to build up solo big, you know? Because my, my plan is to be able to get tech tier solo over here. 
that's my plan to be able to get tech tier because I can't do boss fights, you know, but in the market, you could sure as hell buy yourself a boss fight. People always want like C4, people always want bullets and stuff like that in the market. They're like, hey man, if you, you know, I'll get you through a boss fight if you pay 300 C4. Now, 300 C4 is 300 C4, but it's doable. It's a lot better than me raising a bunch of Rexes just to get into a boss fight, you know? Oh, fucking it, man. I like the fact that, um, yeah, you see it's called Bile. Because I told him, I was like, hey, man, I'll give you um this. Just save me an ankle. And he's like, yeah, man, got you. So he hooked it up. It's the same thing as trading in the market. So I was like, why not? All right, so we should... Should go for a metal run after this. So we could fill up the forges and then do three stacks of 100 wood on each one. And I think that should be good enough to burn all the metal. <coughs> Since it is times two, we got to take advantage. Dude, I think it has been a while. It has been a while since I've done um, times two. A recording and times two because usually I'm always hiding. Because people like to um, talk shit in the comments and they like to they like show us your base. And I'm like, yeah, no, I don't know about that because you guys are just going to come ring out the doorbell. And I don't really feel like that. Especially when they're going to walk into my front door with like 30 Bronos, freaking Gigas and all this shit. And I'm like over here like with like an RG just looking at them like, yeah, um, I can't believe you guys brought the most for a solo player. But, you know, they will. All right, we're going to be taming stuff. Uh, probably in the next episode, probably for this times two weekend, what I want to do is go hard on the paint and just straight up farm metal and stuff like that. So I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, he's overweight. Okay, so let's put a point into carry weight. He's still going to be overweight though. Shit. What do you have? Yeah, you're overweight too. You're not overweight, but you will be soon. <clears throat> okay, so I think what we should do is take out a stack and start putting them in the smithy, you know? Because then what's going to happen after we do the metal run, we're going to get a metric fuck ton of, um, of stone, and we could turn all that stone into cement and paste. And then we're going to go with the megala to kill a, a bunch of um can i write them that yeah we're gonna go with the mega to kill a bunch of um things um crabs to get organic polymer it's gonna be good here plus we need to build this base man because i'm tired of leaving all these teams outside as you can see that dragon was there i mean i leave him on neutral but and the server is a little peaceful so it's good to build up. Everybody's nice here. It's a community. We all high five each other every morning. It's a good time, you know. I don't know. They, I don't think they know I'm biolaser, so maybe that's why they haven't come and stomp on my face yet. But we'll keep it that way. Alright, well I'm gonna get all this stuff ready, and I'll come back to you guys in a minute. <coughs> all right, here we go. Time to do metal runs. So normally, oh wait, I heard from the alpha, um. They've told me, and I've heard from other people too, that if you use the um, the Dodic to hit the crystals, you actually end up getting like stupid amount of crystal compared to like the Ankly. And I don't mean like the actual crystal nodes, I mean like the actual um, like gems, I guess you could say. So I'm going to be saving all the flint and everything, and honestly, I'm going to turn that probably into spark powder. And I know some of you might be like, why don't you just smelt that? Why don't you just smelt with spark powder instead of wood? But I'd rather save the spark powder for like making chem benches. Because I need to make chem benches. Because the design that I have is going to have at least three chem benches and two forges. You know? One for metal and one for wood. <coughs> Honestly, I know some people do like four forges. But I'm my own guy. I'm a one-man tribe, sir. 
Four forges is a little too much. We might go four forges, but once we get established, I don't want to like put out the layout and then slowly do it and then not not really build protections. So for the beginning, I think what we're gonna have to do is rely on turret towers to protect us. That's what's gonna happen. Because other than that, like we're not gonna be able to put. Because my thing that I hate the most is building a big box. But if we're gonna have like all this stuff, like um like forges and chem benches and eventually a replicator down the line so then I could make some tech tier <coughs> it's gonna need a lot of fucking space you know it's unfortunate but that's how it is cuz I don't really feel like putting a replicator outside and my forges or my processing station outside cuz when I raid people and I see that I'm like thanks and I know some of you are going to be like, well, you could just put, um, you know, metal. Like, I mean, you could just put turret towers on it and stuff like that. Yeah, but you're still exposed and somebody could pop shot you, especially in this map when people could just go upside down on Drake's. All right, we're just harvesting everything. Rocks, pebbles, everybody up in here. All right, let's go. Come on. All right, it's going to be a while, so we're going to have to fast forward this.
We've been non-stop farming. Like, it's really bad. Like, we've been farming non-stop. And then I thought it was going to be times two weekend this weekend, but it wasn't. And I got kicked on the nuts because it wasn't. And then I've been farming on times one. A whole huge fucking base. <clears throat> now, I know I said I wasn't going to go crazy and only do a five by five. But, um, honestly, I was testing out builds and stuff like that on the, on my single player, like the creative mode. And to be real with you, I think it would be probably best if I just built a huge base here. Because there's so much land here. I might as well do something with it. So I have a lot of it on the crab, as you could tell, the cables, the refrigerators, the camp benches. You know, a lot of it is here. And then the rest is inside this vault. <clears throat> as you can see, a lot of it is in this vault. Um, You know what? I'm missing one chem bench. Are you fucking kidding me? I am missing one chem bench. Am I not? What do I need? Crystal, polymer. Oh, I'm going to have to craft one more chem bench. All right. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Okay, we finally crafted the last chem bench. Um, I had to go rinse off because I'm like passing out for farming so much. I'm tired of shit. But yeah, so we were out there and we got spit on by an Arthropleuro. That was nice, you know. I think my stuff is on. Wait, did I throw my stuff away? No, I put everything on. Yeah, it's right here. What do I need? Oh, I need everything. All right, whatever. Um, I can make more ACs. Let's make a couple of lamps, honestly. Maybe like four, because that shit's going to be dark as fuck. Oh, what do I need for this? I just got to make some bunk beds, too. All right, anyway. <clears throat> what we need to do... Is... Transport all of this over to a vault so we literally gonna have to place down where did the dog go are you the one with the thatch yeah you are all right let's go so we're literally gonna have to put this thatch foundation at least one only oh man i fucked up we gotta put one We don't want to put it there, so we're going to put it, like, right here. And then we're going to drop the vault right there. And then from there, <coughs> we're just going to have to start building, like, this is creative mode or something. All right, first, let's, let's not be stupid and let's bring the crap close. And let's place the vault. This is a waste of a metal, though, because this vault is basically just for place and shit. Oh, well. There's enough metal in this fucking map. The only thing that is the hardest shit that I've came across getting in this map was oil. Oh, my God, was that shit hard to get. I'm panicking. Where's it? Uh, just put a random pin code. Put a random pin code on that one because I mean that one's gonna be demolished. We have three chem benches, two indie forges. We're gonna need three more smithies and one more fabby. Alright, let's do this. And then we're gonna start demoing this thing. And then on the next episode, we're gonna start building this. Because BioLaser needs some sleep. He's been farming non-stop, and I'm fucking tired. So, <clears throat> let's see what's left. Not the lamps. Let's put the metal and stuff over here. What do I need for the fabby? Fucking crystal. 
oil and oh, come on please do I have enough crystal how much crystal do I need please let me know I have so much so many crystal fuck I'm missing two more I have the spark powder in this dog fucking a. I have an extra spare asthma suit in there alrighty then um all right, I'm done. I'm going to go to sleep. I hope you guys enjoy this little farming montage that I had going for you. I'll see you guys next time when we're building the ginormous base. The Jenny turned off. Hopefully nobody robs us and everything's still here over um, tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.